A case about making rules for elections is before the Supreme Court today, with some fearing how the decision might impact American democracy. It stems from a legal squabble between North Carolina legislative Republicans and that state's Supreme Court, which struck down how lawmakers redrew congressional districts. North Carolina Republicans are pointing out to a murky independent state legislator theory, which asserts that only the state legislature has its power to set laws applying to those federal elections. Michael George reports from North Carolina. Counsel for a group backing the North Carolina State Supreme Court warned justices on the High Court Wednesday that the implications of the election case before them could be drastic. The blast radius from their theory would sow elections chaos, forcing a confusing two-track system with one set of rules for federal elections and another for state ones. Case after case would wind up in this court with a political party on either side. North Carolina legislative Republicans are arguing the legislature alone has the power to set laws applying to federal elections, including drawing maps that favor the GOP. The state Supreme Court ruled those as illegal gerrymandering. The legislature is pushing back with something known as independent legislature theory, coming from an obscure debate over what the founding fathers intended. States lack the authority to restrict the legislature's substantive discretion when performing this federal function. As Alexander Hamilton wrote in Federalist 78, the scope of legislative authority is governed by the commission under which it is exercised. Here, that commission is contained in the United States Constitution. Justice Kagan raised the concern of state legislatures meddling in election results. I think what might strike a person is that uh, this is a proposal that gets rid of the normal checks and balances on the way um, big governmental decisions are made in this country. Some of the court's conservative justices seemed sympathetic to the petitioners. This is a federal election and it's similar to the problem we had with the presidential election in Bush v. Gore. Justice Clarence Thomas, the only current associate on the panel in 2000, then joined an opinion siding with the state legislature over the state court to stop the Florida recount and award George W. Bush the presidency. Michael George, CBS News, Charlotte, North Carolina.